Well, let's get an update now on the case of the man accused of killing Toy accordingly. Rosanna King's son, Rajwinder Singh's case will soon get underway. Sharon, we understand he's yet to arrive at court, but his arrival there in Delhi is imminent, and that will continue the process of formalising his extradition. It was only a few days ago the court was able to officially accept his desire to return to Australia to face justice. Inside the courtroom today, a document that details Singh's willingness to return to Australia will be prepared, and then he will be asked to sign it in front of his legal counsel. Sharon, we should know soon whether the judge will recommend the the extradition today or set a date to issue the order. All right, Rosanna, thank you for the latest there. One is a high-profile safety campaigner, the other an Olympic swimmer turned swim teacher. Together they've joined calls to overhaul swimming lessons in Queensland schools following devastating drowning figures. A teacher in the water. Ready, go. An advocate out of it. Laurie Lawrence wants improvements to compulsory swimming lessons in schools. A lot of the schools are getting around saying that they're doing water safety, but they're not doing swimming lessons. Worried some students don't even have access to a pool. Water safety is not a wet session. Of the 84 people who drowned in Queensland in the year to June 2022, 16 were under 17. Sparking the debate, Seven News presenter and father of Olympic swimmer Ariane Titmus. There should be a certificate of competency for students before they enter high school. Olympian turned swim teacher Glenn Buchanan wants to go even further. We've got to look at the, the younger kids, the... The, the kids at kindy and preschool, because they're the ones that, that get into uh, the most trouble. Education Minister Grace Gray says the state swimming lessons include classroom-based theory as well as practical lessons in water, at a cost of nearly $4 million a year. Queensland schools use a national framework for swimming lessons, which sets minimum standards for students, such as a six-year-old should be able to swim five metres, a 12-year-old 50 metres, and a 17-year-old should be able to tread water for five minutes. Very few kids are reaching that standard. It's totally unacceptable. The government have, has to look at some sort of incentives, whether it's um, uh, tax concessions or rebates. Funding, they say, will save lives. Laura Dimmick, 7 News. Bertie is back now with a look at how the weather is shaping up. Oh, Sharon, absolutely stunning uh, day today across the southeast. Everybody going back to work this week. School holidays two weeks ago, unfortunately, kids. And, of course, the weather looking magnificent. Still a bit of breeze about, quite gusty today up towards 56 k's across the Gold Coast, about 10 k's less at the Brisbane airport. But uh, condition-wise, looking absolutely stunning and warmer again tomorrow. A little bit of shower activity for the weekend. We'll get into that shortly. First, today's temps. Uh, 28, 29 coastal region. It did warm up to around 30 degrees in the city and 32 for Ipswich. To the charts now, you can see that inland trough that's been dropping a lot of rain through the central interior, gradually making its way towards the east coast. Of course, that is bringing a line of thunderstorms to impact areas around Mount Isa, uh, Mackay tomorrow, Longreach, Emerald, Rocky. Uh, most of the other areas are going to be remain fairly dry, so it is that thin line as that trough pushes through. So around the nation for tomorrow, we are going to see partly cloudy conditions for Canberra, top of 30 degrees. A possible shower for Melbourne and 32 to overcast for Sydney and fine and dry in most of the other na uh, majors. Back to the tropics now. Here we go. Storms for Weeper and Mount Isa. Highs of around 35 degrees there. Storms also for Mackay. Shower too for Cairns. Storms also affecting areas from Longreach through to Emerald and then hitting the uh, Rockhampton coast. So the, uh, the Capricornia coast will see that activity coming through in the afternoon. Further south around Gladstone, heading down towards the Fraser coast, uh, we're going to see Harvey Bay around 21 to 30 degrees and dry, similar for Toowoomba, 16 to 29. Back home in the southeast now, awesome conditions coming through. Uh, we're going to have highs of around 29 degrees for the Sunshine Coast, down to 20 overnight, 20 to 29 for the Gold Coast, 19 to 30 for Bayside and 20 to 29 for Redcliffe. As we venture to the west now, that sea breeze is going to drop off and, of course, the temperatures climb. 31 for Logan, 30 for Caboolture, 18 to 33 for Ipswich. On the water, southerly winds turning southeast, 15 to 20 knots. Still quite rough out there. Deception Bay through to Mud Island on the bay is going to be absolutely ugly. One metre, but quite choppy for those in small craft, under five metres. 
So in the city, 20 degrees tonight, highs of 31 and plenty of sunshine. It's going to be a warmer one and ahead. Um, remaining dry Thursday, Friday. Possible shower later on Saturday into Sunday, though. Uh, highs of around 28, 29 degrees. Ipswich climbing up to 33 for Thursday. Cooling back down for the weekend, 18 to 30. Gold Coast, expect uh, clear conditions through to the weekend and then a couple of showers later on Saturday, 28. And similar for the Sunshine Coast, uh, dry up till the weekend, then showers through till next Tuesday. And, of course, Sharon, with that hotter conditions tomorrow, good day for the pool or aircon. Either one will be fine. Certainly sounds that way. All right, thank you, Bertie. And that is all from us this Tuesday. Thanks for your company. We'll have updates throughout the evening. But for now, from all the team, we hope you have a good night.